In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this smashed mirror effect in Photoshop. So as you can see, there are a few steps to this process, but if you follow along, you should be absolutely fine. So first thing you wanna do is open up your image. So I'm just gonna open up this here, and I've already cropped this to a square just to make life easier for Instagram, things like that, but you can do it on any size. The next thing we wanna do is open up our glass effect. So I'm gonna put a link in the description for you and you can then use the same one if you want. So now I've opened that, I'm just gonna place this onto our image. So I'm gonna click on the move tool, click in the middle, drag it up to our picture, bring it back to the center and then let go. And then we can just move this to size. So I'm just gonna move the squares around until it fits. And then we're just gonna click the tick icon at the top there. Okay, next we're gonna use our pen tool. So we're gonna come over to here and select pen tool. So let's zoom in a little bit. So I'm gonna start at the top here and make a selection click again and if I hold the command key down then that enables me to just change that angle a little bit. Let's do the same down to here and if you make a mistake and your line's not lined up perfect then hold the control command key down and you can just pull that back out. Go to another selection down to here function key and that will enable you to actually change the whole selection there. So now I'm going to click at the top here and back over to finish off the selection. So now we need to go to our paths and you can see here it says working path. So if you can't see this then come up to window and just make sure the paths is selected and this will come up. And once you've made that selection and you've got your paths up then you can double click on the working path here you can just rename this and put it whatever you want and then the important thing is to come up to here just click away and that enables you then to create the second one done that what we need to do is we need to come down to our image and we need to duplicate this so we need to duplicate it enough times in my instance five so that we can then use these selections on these images so I'm going to turn off all of these and I'm going to come up to path on the first selection here I'm going to hold the control command key down and make that selection I'm going to come down to the bottom and I'm going to create a layer mask. And then I'm going to do the same for the next one. Another selection here. So we're just repeating this process. And the final one. There we go. I'm going to come up to the mirror layer here. I'm going to click on the eyeball there just to bring it through. And then we're gonna change the blend mode to screen. And that's gonna bring back our glass. And now what we need to do is just change the placement of each shape. So to do that, come down to the first image here, click on this little chain here, so it unlocks it. And then press Control Command T to transform. And then you can move this around. So this is gonna give us our different perspective. We'll do the same on the next one. Control Command T and we can move this up. And it's entirely up to you what you want to do. You can make them smaller, you can make them bigger. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. So again, same thing, Control Command T. And then let's just see what this one is. This is her lip. So I think it's quite important that we get some sort of perspective right with this image. Do the final one as well. 
Okay, next thing I'm going to do is bring in another texture. So I'm going to call it a file and open again. I'll put a link in the description where you can find this. So add this to the image. So let me just get rid of this. Come to the move tool, click in the middle, up to the image, let go and then let go in the middle and then I'm just going to push this across so that it fits the image. It doesn't matter if it goes over the actual selection there, that's absolutely fine. And then we can come up to here and we can change the blend mode. So we can change this to multiple blend modes. It's entirely up to you what you want to go for. And sometimes screen can look good, sometimes an overlay or even a soft light can look nice as well. So I'm going to go with soft light because I think that looks pretty good. And I think what I would also like to do is just make a hue and saturation adjustment. Just bring down that saturation a little bit. I think that will finish it off. It looks pretty good to me. So that just gives us a bit of a better look. And then just to finish it off, I like to just crop in a little bit just to get rid of some of these edges from where we've been working. You may not need to do this on yours if you've been a little bit more precise than what I have. So there you go, that is how you do it. So if you look at this as a final image, it's pretty interesting, it's pretty cool. You can have lots of fun doing it. So I hope that's helped. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care, bye bye.